Hey, what happens behind the scenes if I create a new deployment in Kubernetes? Come with me and take a look. Well, first of all, you or hopefully your GitOps agents does kubectl apply with your deployment manifest and the first point it reaches in your cluster is the API server. Um, there it undergoes a couple of checks. First of all, authentication and authorization. Who are you and are you actually allowed to deploy that manifest? If yes, that's perfect, that's a check. Second, schema validation. Is your, is your deployment YAML valid and does it contain everything it needs to? Yes, perfect. And last of all, admission control. Um, does it comply with all policies that are defined in the cluster and can it actually pass through? If all of them succeed, the API server is storing your new deployment in etcd and an event is being sent to the control plane that tells everybody, hey, there is a new deployment, please do something with it. And that's actually the sign for the scheduler to jump in. Because from there, the scheduler is taking over and is actually looking for the right node for your application to run on. It does this based on certain scheduling requirements, like for example, node selectors, taints and tolerations, um, available resources like CPU and memory, and so on. And once it found a node for it to run on, your pod is officially entering the pending state. And from there, the kubelet that is running on each node will take over and will pull all necessary images, it will mount your volumes, and finally start your containers. And once all of that is done, your pod will enter the running phase and from there on, hopefully live, live happily ever after. Um, do you have any questions about Kubernetes or your cloud-native environments? Please drop them in the comments. We will be happy to have a look in the next episodes.